Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So behind me here I have seven very large flat screen TVs. I was actually given five of them from a father of a former student. Shout out and thank you to Troy and Bailey Wooliver. Uh, they do not work and he was kind enough to give me them for this scrapping video. So again, thank you very much. And the nice thing about flat screen TVs is you do find them a lot on garbage days. They do vary in size, uh, depending on the make and model, different components. But the nice thing about flat screen TVs is that they are 100% scrappable material. I can take these in as is and get electronic TV price, which is about four cents a pound. And these seven TVs combined are very heavy. Combined, they weigh 223 pounds, which would give me $8.92 as is. In my opinion, however, they are well worth your time and effort to strip them, separate the material. There's some really nice copper inside, some aluminum heat sinks, some tin. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I have already broken them down. It only took me about an hour and a half to do all of them, so it is very easy. I have different categories, so I am going to talk about the different items that come out of them as well as prices to show you how you can more effectively maximize your profit. So here we go. The first thing I do want to talk about is, and warn, is not all of these TVs have the same components inside of them. Some have some really nice circuit boards with copper on them, some have more gold than others. So these are just seven random flat screen TVs. There's a couple Panasonics in there. There's a, a couple of other ones, a Samsung, I believe. So different components, different models, but again, they do have a lot of scrappable items. So for this experiment, they're all grouped together. Uh, the first thing, as I said, a lot of times the backings on the TV can be a lot of plastic, or they can be, as you can see on this one, a really nice magnetic or magnetic shell. Okay, so this is the backing of a TV. And as you saw, the magnet sticks. So this will actually be thrown into tin or shred pile. And currently right now, tin and shred are going for 10 to 13 cents a pound, which is a lot better than your four cents a pound. And believe it or not, this is very heavy. This is actually 10 pounds on its own. And I have three of them here, which is great. Uh, a lot of the other ones, especially the thinner ones, are more plastic. But in my opinion, if they can be separated, you definitely want to make sure you separate them uh, so you can put that into tin shred. I also have some parts off of different circuit boards. Again, all magnetic, so this is going to go into my tin shred pile. Uh, speakers. Speakers I actually will also throw into my tin shred. Even though there is some plastic on here, there is definitely some um, steel in here. So I throw this in there instead of getting electronic price. TV stands as well. I have seen some people, if they are in good working order, try to sell them online. Uh, I obviously had too many of them. Um, this one is a little bit damaged on the side, so I am throwing this one out. But as you can see, some really nice steel there. So this is gonna th be thrown into my tin shred pile as well. It doesn't matter about the plastic, even though there is plastic on this, the scrap yards are not gonna say anything. So all of this steel or metal is gonna be tin and shred. As well, as you can see here, I've got a number of screws. Believe it or not, there's actually 11 ounces of screws here. Um, and that's not factoring in the other few screws I had to put into the TVs to close them up or close them back up. So the nice thing is screws and bolts, they will also go into my steel pile, get 10 to 13 cents a pound for them. I will throw them into a nice giant container. Usually once that container is full, I'll get about 10 pounds there. It's a great scrappable item as well. And given the amount of scrappable material and screws, it adds up quickly. So tin shred, I actually have 63 pounds of tin, which is at 10 cents a pound gives you $6.30 just for that. Um, again, I've got three backings here. Like I said, this is very heavy. 
Uh, there is another one over there as well. So tin shred. Another item that I wanted to look at is some of my TVs did have um, appliance wire. Not all of them did. And the nice thing about these is these are going to go into my 60, 40% copper recovery, sorry. And the reason I call them 40% copper recovery is because if I take it up to the camera, there is my um, TV wire. This has an outer coating on it, which has inside of it two or three additional um, copper wires that have coating around them. And because there is more plastic on here, less copper recovery, these would go into 40% uh, copper appliance wire. And currently that actually is going for $1.23 a pound in London, Ontario, which is a great price. Um, I do take off my brass prongs and put it into brass bucket. Some people leave these on for the weight. It's entirely up to you. But I actually have two pounds of appliance wire here. So two pounds. I'm going to have obviously uh, $2.46 worth of copper uh, appliance wire. Uh, I also have getting into the computer or into the TVs on your circuit boards. So I'm just going to show you a circuit board uh, from one of them. Not all of them are like this, but you notice there is some nice copper on there. There are some nice aluminum heat sinks. There's a couple nice transformers that have some really nice copper inside of it. So what I've done is right here, I have a nice pile of aluminum heat sinks. And there are different colors. As you can see, I've got some really nice metallic ones. Uh, I've got a couple that are painted black. And the painted black ones are about a cent less um, than the unpainted one. But these aluminum heat sinks are going to go into a category called extrusion. Extrusion is a form of aluminum that when you look at it, it looks like it's been pushed through a press. Um, so things like your... Um, shower track uh, tracks, um, your frames around window screens, those type of aluminum would be extrusion. And currently extrusion right now is actually going for $1.37 a pound, which is a great price. Uh, and I actually had with my aluminum heat sinks, you can see a whole bunch of them over there. I had 2.75 or two and three quarter pounds of aluminum heat sinks. And these are small ones. The bigger TVs have, I've seen some that have great big, heavy aluminum heat sinks. Uh, this was the biggest I got, but usually there's about two or three of them on the circuit board. So comes out to $3.43 worth of aluminum heat sinks. As well, there is some more aluminum that I do wanna show on here. You can see the difference. So this is a piece that comes off. Uh, this was actually under the circuit board different between that there are no grooves in this one you can see as well here's another aluminum heat sink that was actually attached to the circuit boards you can see it's just no press marks it looks like it's just um, almost very flat so this is actually going to be clean aluminum going for about 50 to 60 cents a pound i didn't have much of it but i factored it into um, the total uh, i got about uh, 32 cents worth but again, it all adds up. I throw this in with my aluminum that I get off of vacuum motors, for example. Um, it's very light, but again, it goes into a bag and um, you know it's diverted from the landfill and it will add up in time for sure. Okay, so clean aluminum. Uh, next, I wanna look at uh, the scrapper's gold here, if you will. I have some really nice copper winding that comes off of my circuit boards. All of this is actually going to be classified as number two copper. It doesn't matter how shiny it is. You can see the different colors from the different components. All of this because the thickness of this wire is going to be number two copper. Um, so all motor wire like this, number two price. And currently number two copper is going for $4.45 a pound. I actually have eight ounces of it, so half a pound works out to be $2.23 worth. As well, I also collect these. Um, off of your aluminum heat sinks, you will see little pins. So if I pull this up to the camera, you can see these little pins 
that are attached to your aluminum heat sinks, there is actually copper inside of them. So after I unscrew those, I will cut these off. I've opened one up, as you can see, that is copper. So these are actually also gonna go into my number two bucket. I don't put them with my wire, I separate them, but there were a number of them, as you can see here, um, they add up as well. And I actually got from those, um, six ounces. So number two price, about $1.99 for those. Um, again, I do want to make sure you cut off the little bit of teeth. I will go as high as I can with those. Um, I do not bother removing the plastic, but you can see the copper inside. So this is copper, number two copper price, which is great. Last thing I want to look at as well are your circuit boards. There are a lot of circuit boards that came out of these TVs. Some of them, as I said, had copper, but a lot of them have gold, which is nice. And I did, for this experiment, have to shop around. I have talked a lot about online sources of circuit boards in Canada, gold and money. Um, in the US, I actually was communicating with the gentleman on the computer from Gold Source, so I appreciate him or Gold, gold Source coming back and, and responding. And I had a question about these large circuit boards from flat screen TVs. And these are actually, as you can see, if I take them up to the camera, some really nice gold on those, the strip down the side. They're not very heavy, but they definitely have very visual gold plated uh, on the circuit boards that runs all the way down it. And these are actually, if I bring them to a scrapyard in Sarnia, Ontario, um, they told me they would give me 20 cents a pound. On BoardSource.com, the gentleman said that these would be worth $2.60 a pound American, which is about $3.70. Um, and I got from this, so I actually do hold on to these. Uh, I don't bring them into the scrapyards here because even 20 cents a pound for me and the price of gold continuing to sky, I will hold on to these and wait. Um, so again, it's entirely up to you. It depends on how much you have, but from these ones alone, I actually had eight ounces, so half a pound. And obviously if I worked it out to boardsource.com, it'd be a dollar 80 around that. Um, a half a pound here, obviously I would get, uh, you know, 10 cents. Um, so in my opinion, not worth it, especially with the amount of gold. As well, there are other circuit boards um, that the gentleman talked about on board source. There is, these ones, there has to be a visible gold strip. Some of them, as you can see, for example, I'm just gonna bring these up to the camera. You can't see the gold on these, uh, other than there are a couple chips here, and I did mention micro scrapping uh, computer towers in my last video, so if you're interested, go check that out. These will be bought online, so I do take these off. and. Some of your panels or pins, if you will, that you see the strips, some of these do have gold in them. Some of them don't. Easiest way, in my opinion, is if you bent the ticker tape or the tape, you can see the prongs there are a nice gold finish. If I pull this one out, turn it around, you can see the gold on that as well. So these ones are gold inside. There are gold pins. This one, however, does have gold as well. Let me see, pull it. This one does have gold as well. This one, however, if I turn this, this one did not, okay? So there is one in this pile that doesn't. Uh, I gotta find it. But uh, you do wanna check if you pulled them out to see this one does, okay? I think there's another one in here somewhere that doesn't. Uh, but an easy way is if you pulled them out and the tape actually shows a metallic color there's not gonna be gold pins inside of that. So you could try and put these, if you're taking these to the scrap yards, and for example, in Sarnia, you can argue and say that there are gold pins. If you pull up the, the flap there, they might give you the 20 cents a piece. Um, another question I did ask them was, will they lower the value if I take off certain items off of here? Uh, they said they had to inspect them, but probably so. Uh, I'm going to look at all of these and for this experiment I did weigh them at 20 cents a pound for this and I actually have eight pounds worth of circuit boards here. 
Um, there are other things, like I said, I've already taken off the copper from most of them. Something like this, there is no gold on it. So they might look at this and say, you know what, we're gonna give you the standard low grade board price, five cents a piece. Uh, but again, just to make this easy, I'm gonna lump sum it. This one is interesting, you can see there is no gold visible, but lots of uh, copper plated. So they do come in different styles and different colors. Um, but again, for this experiment, 20 cents a pound for these, uh, eight pounds. So I factored in uh, $1.60, and those would be circuit boards e-waste price. Um, so combined, oh, as well, sorry, I also have to say, even though I have gutted these TVs, the scrapyards will stay, still take the rest of these TVs, okay? I've closed them up. There is obviously the screen, there's plastic in there, there's still metal, there's, there is still components. So they will take these. So I have, once I took it all apart, 158 pounds still of TVs left. So at four cents a pound for the remaining bit of that would give me $6.32 a pound. So combined, separating it, I would get a total of about $26.40 give or take a couple pennies, uh, which is obviously a lot better than your $8.92. Again, it took me an hour and a half to do, so not very much time. Um, you know, the odds of having seven to work on, uh, it depends, but in my opinion, as I said, very well worth your time separating. A lot of goodies inside, um, you know, uh, and definitely, you know, taking them apart, maximizing your profit, from the copper extrusion, the gold, uh, the tin shred, a lot better than your electronic weight price. So again, thank you very much again, Wolliver Clan. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.